and welcome back on this cloudy and dreary day across the 20th. It's just another cloudy day, tracking a few showers in parts of the southern tier, including Ithaca, where we have the Apple Fest this afternoon. Right now, the leftovers of Helene continue to spin across parts of the south with showers still causing some flood warnings in parts of North Carolina. And again, keep our friends down south in, in your prayers as, again, um, they continue to recover from the flooding. Unfortunately, the National Hurricane Center is monitoring another disturbance with a medium chance of tropical cyclone development that could potentially impact the Gulf states later on this week. Right here in the Twin Tiers, it is still cloudy with a few showers. Light showers continue to push on through parts of the southern tier in Steuben County, Shimon County, and in also parts of Tompkins and Schuyler counties. And if you are heading out there right now, temperatures are generally in the 60s across the board, so pretty seasonably cool for this time of the year. 61 in Erin, 63 in Wellsboro, 63 also in Canestillo, 64 in Penyon, and about 64 degrees down at Tawanda. Now, showers will be possible over the next couple of hours, and then drier conditions will move in for the latter part of the night, but those clouds will stick with us for the remainder of tonight. Now, here is our little friend. Her, her name is Lily. Thank you, Alison and Darby, for sending us this picture of Lily. Now, tomorrow we are looking at some morning fog, so if you are planning to walk your dog tomorrow, definitely keep that in mind. However, that fog will lift during the latter part of the morning and give way to a mix of sun and clouds for your Monday. So, 68 is our average high for this time of the year. Temperatures will be a bit above average for Monday. Then we are tracking a cold front, which will cool us down a bit for Tuesday and Wednesday. But our temperatures will warm up as we head into Thursday and Friday as drier conditions move in to our region. Now, a cold front will sweep by on Wednesday with a few showers. However, the moisture associated with this front will be very limited. As a result, rainfall totals will be on the light side. Then high pressure will build on Thursday and Friday with more sunshine. So we are going to end the week with more sunshine across much of the Northeast, including in our neck of the woods. So tonight we are looking at mostly cloudy skies a low near 56, mostly cloudy on Monday with a high near 74, showers possible midweek as a cold front passes, but more sunshine to end the week as high pressure builds across our region and temperatures will warm up into the mid to upper 70s. Thank you, Deshaun. Communities across five states